that last lick was allowed so that you can learn the lesson. You have been dealing with a situation where you have been healing from certain individuals in your life, certain relationships. And this is all doesn't always have to be romantic, but just any relationship in your life where these people were very, very verbally abusive, mentally, emotionally, psychologically abusive, where these people they use their words, thank you, spirit, they use their words as weapons. Oh, thank you, spirit, for that word. Their voices were vicious. Anytime they use their voice, it was vicious. Anytime they use their words, it was a weapon. And you know how they say no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The weapon, the weapons that they threw at you were words. They were really trying to hurt you verbally. They were trying to hurt you with words. They were trying to break you down because words can stick in your brain. And what happened is you endured a lot from these people. I mean, these people will get up in your face and say all of this stuff to you with that energy. But you see what just what happened was that you have been carrying a lot of resentment towards those people and toward the situation as a whole because you they caused you a lot of pain and you didn't speak up for yourself at the time. So you held a lot of resentment, one, towards those people for saying all this to you because they didn't have to be as reckless as they were to you. That was their choice, though. And the resentment also came from yourself because you're like, why did I allow these people to talk to me and disrespect me and just talk to me crazy? You held it in like and you really kept your composure. You kept turning the other cheek. You kept being silent. You kept... You were slow to anger and you were slow to speak. At moments, you didn't even speak at times. And because of your silence, they took that as a weakness and they kept attacking you. And you had to sit there and you had to endure a lot of those attacks. And a part of your healing was that you were allowed to give them a lick. You weren't going to give them as much licks as they gave you, but you were allowed to give them a lick. And you were learning a lesson in that. The lesson that you were learning was that you can redirect and channel your anger in a different way, channel your pain in a different way, and to channel that pain into your purpose and not unto the person. But the lick was allowed because it was helping you to unleash that rage that they threw on you. You returned the energy back to sender and in the same fashion that it was given to you. Hear me when I say that. 